Howdy guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here fixing something else here on the 2005 Corvette that's been broken for a little while. Um, a while back, this plastic bracket that's around the parking brake boot broke on me. Um, it broke right there at these little mounting pieces. Uh, you'll see I've got the old one right here. Uh, you'll see right there and right there where it's broken. It's also broken over here. The, so those three mounting points just broke off. This is the new one, the aftermarket one. You'll see it's got these two brand new with the metal pieces and it's got that one over there. So side by side, they uh, look very different. One obviously new and one obviously used. So uh, there's only one place on the internet that I know of that sells this part all by itself. Everywhere else, including buying it directly from GM, you have to buy this whole thing. So it's like the, the shifter handle, the boot, the, the metal arm underneath, uh, wiring and everything. And I don't need that. I just need this. So uh, there's only one place to get it. So that's where I got it. And I will link that company and the link to buy this part down below. It's called uh, Mid-America Motor Works. Um, they actually make the part themselves. See, they've got their name branded on there. So it's not a GM part. It actually is an aftermarket part. Uh, however, uh, it might be even better quality. It seems like it's a little more sturdy, especially on this top top piece of it right here. It's a little stronger than the GM piece, which flexes quite a bit more. So uh, we will see how it holds up, but let's get started figuring out how to get this off. So um, I've already taken it off, obviously, and, and, and pulled out the pieces that were broken and stuck in there. Got one, it's like pulling a tooth. Um, there are a couple ways you can do this. One of them is the hard way, I think, is to um, leave it in the car and put this over like so. And you're, then you're gonna glue this boot to the bottom piece of it and then mount it in, then you're done. And I say that's the hard part, even though it seems way easier because of how you have to get it on there. It's it's ridiculously hard to, to actually get this over there, crumple up this leather, not really leather, but crumple up this leather to get it in the right place, glue it, then have it actually, you know, set normally in the heat and whatever, um, and then hope that it works. Even though it'd be easier because you don't have to take anything out of the car, it's gonna be harder because, um, you have to do it all in this tight spot. So what we're going to do is we are going to take the boot off of the shifter handle here. So what I am going to do is I'm gonna, right here there is a screw. I'm gonna unscrew that. I'm gonna take just the handle off, just the handle off, not any of this junk down here. Just the handle off, come with the boot. I'm gonna take it inside and we're gonna put it all together and then come back. And then in theory, I'm gonna come back out here with the boot and the bracket already glued together. We will put the handle back on, screw it back on, and then pop that mounting bracket back into place and then we'll be done. It'll be a lot easier to me. It'd be a lot easier that way. Even though I have to take everything out of the car and put it back in, I think it's gonna be a whole lot easier to get everything mounted together if it's outside of the car. Uh, especially in a well-lit area with air conditioning because <laughs> this might take a while. So uh, right now I'm going to get that unbolted and we'll take it inside. So here's the interesting way how you have to do this because this console is in the way. Um, so first of all, make sure your car's in gear. Uh, make sure your foot's on the pedal. And then you're going to have to actually lower the parking brake. So lower it all the way. And then you have to do this. Open up your console and there's this little gap right there that's going to be your shortcut so line it up right there as best you can and then get your screwdriver and unscrew it and then you can take it off All right, so once you get that kind of loose, you don't want to drop that screw there. So that's why I started using two hands to hold it. And there you go. Now finish the last unscrewing with my hand. And it is now unscrewed. I'll put it there so I don't lose it. So this guy will then pop right off. 
Uh, it's on there tight because this button obviously controls the actual mechanism underneath the boot. So you have to really grab it really hard and then really pull it and shake it a little bit and then it'll come right off just like that. So now you have the whole boot, the whole handle, the button, everything there. This is what it looks like sitting there naked. I mean, if you want to be really super cool, you can put like a different like handle right there and it'd be just raw and awesome with your, your metal arm there. But we're not going to do that. We're going to actually fix this thing. So take this inside. Don't lose the button, which flew back here. So button's a different piece. Heads up. Take this inside. Take this inside. And we're going to put it back together. All right. So this is what we've been working on with the leather so it wraps around. I was looking at it wrong going inside. It wraps around and then there's a little lip here. There are, were some marker marks there and there and on this side of kind of where it was. You can see where the old creases are. Where it folds, you can see right there where the tabs are cut out right there. So as I glued it, I was putting now clothes pins to keep pressure on, so we'll keep that going for a long time. Then we'll flip it over and do this side and do the same thing there. And we should be back in business. Right, it is now nice and tight and not going anywhere. So now I gotta do the other side. So there's that little flap again. I've gotta get some glue there. Gotta get some glue under this little thing here. Make sure it sticks. Glue over here. So this side's gonna be a little more difficult because of these uh, these little notches and all the little tiny flaps, but now we're going to do the same thing with put glue all into this. We're going to use clothes pins and bricks, uh, you know, some scientific stuff to hold it closed. And it's gonna sit there for a few hours depending on how long it needs to dry. And then this thing will be ready to be put back in the car. Alrighty guys, this round of glue right here looks like it's dry, so it is now attached to just that flat piece right here, not underneath the flap, so it's glued right there. Now I need to put glue on the back side here and along the fabric to get it over there so it'll be secured on both sides. Alright, now I'm going to take these off and see if the glue is holding. It's been there for a few hours. Looks like it is there. Holding pretty well. Uh, might be a couple areas like right here where I might want to put a little more glue and then Put the clothespins back on, maybe right there too, up underneath this little lip. Just a couple other places where the glue didn't happen to get in on the first round. I have uh, gotten it cleaned up, checked all of these seams. They seem to be in great condition, so let's get it back in the car. All right, here we are. Here's my wonderful emergency brake lever it actually looks kind of cool like that um but not all that functional so i decided not to strip this and repaint it uh even though i it, i really want to it's bothering me because of these wrinkles in this like foil paint and crap that's on it but um once i get it on here it's going to be mostly hidden the area that's peeling up uh, i don't have any silver paint so my only options would have been maybe red or black and uh, I don't know if it's really the best paint that I have anyway so if I want to paint this in the future I can take it off and paint it now all right so the next part should be relatively straightforward uh, you just got to take this slide it over and through here and then we should be able to line these clips up and clip it in but let me make sure I can get it over 
everything first. So it fits, but now, before we pop it in, remember we had to unscrew this handle here. So you gotta turn this whole boot inside out again and find that same hole right there that screws in. Get the nice screw that you took out last time. And now comes the interesting part again, where you've gotta use this lid here and move the Move this down just to the point where you can get to it. I think I might be able to get to it without moving it down. But remember, you, last thing you want to do is drop this screw. Um, let's just say if you do, it might not be coming back because then it's going to go right way down there in between all that stuff uh, where this handle is underneath the console. So very very carefully screw it in by hand until it's tight and then get your screwdriver with this console lid door open you should then be able to screw it in where it's a little tighter just like so all right now we can move this back down so now we're back in business here uh, now's a good time to put this guy back on. Should just go in by pushing it on real good. There you go. So now your handle's back in place. So now we got to get the clips back in. So clips on the bottom are hard to find the right holes once you get this into place. So you kind of have to feel for them. You can't see anything anymore. Last thing you want to do is break more of those brackets off. So you get the top ones in place. Those are a little easier to see. And you should be able to set it and pop it in. There goes those two. And there goes those two. Boom. And we are in business. I got to get this little carpet trim right here cleaned up. But other than that, the shifter boot is in there. And it is in there for good. So just like that, it is fixed. That was definitely worth worth it. Again, that part, that bracket there, you can't see now because it's covered up by the leather. There's that carpet that I need to fix, but the, the plastic piece is underneath there. It's about 40 bucks plus shipping. So uh, if you need it done, don't pay for the whole thing. Just get that one piece and you can get it taken care of. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a like below. That'll help other people find this video. If you think these instructions will help somebody else, uh, hit the share button. Anyone else needs to uh, fix this bracket down there, hit that share button. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this or stuff with the 4GT or the new Corvette, something like that. Uh, but otherwise, until next time, adios.